YouTube, what's up? I'm back. I'm here. I'm off vacation. <laughs> Sorry about the brief delay, guys, man. I had some uh, technical issues. My laptop decided to go swimming in the ocean. I guess it wanted to take a dip. So now that I'm all back together and we got everything squared away, I'm back with the next update. Pow, pow, pow. And today we're going to be talking about these boots. And I know it's almost spring. So y'all like, why are you talking about boots? Because I had at least six months to try these things out. And these are my favorite boots by far. Bye bye New York. We're in the Timberlands. It's over. I'm not saying they made in New York. I'm just saying when I go to New York, I see everybody in Timberlands. It's over. It's done. They can't even compete. No more Timberland boots. It's a wrap for Timberlands. And I'm going to show you my favorite boot. So the boot is the Sorrel Cheyenne Duck Boot. I have to look up to get the right name. I was just going to come on here and say Sorrel Duck Boot. It's the Sorrel Cheyenne duck boot and I have it here with me Aren't you guys happy aren't you excited you're not you're not as excited as me Okay, so let me give you a quick uh, run through of this boot It's insulated, but not so much insulation where your foot is sweat um, It has the rubber soles and it also has the rubber tip I had the boot all winter long in Chicago. So you know how Chicago winters can be. Even though this winter I say we didn't really get that much snow, this boot lasted through everything. Snow, days when it got warm and it was a ton of water out there, it lasted through everything. No water seep through and they're comfortable. They're, they're sturdy when you're on the ice. Uh, they're durable. I mean, I had them through everything and you can still see that it still kept its form, it still kept its color. And that's another great thing that I love about the boot is the cleanup on it is so quick. The cleanup on a Sorrel boot is so easy. You can wipe, you can clean it down with a disinfectant wipe, real easy. Just, just clean it off. Comfort, they're very comfortable. I wore them through a Chicago winter. So I didn't even want to take them off. They're so comfortable. And, and it's not so much the insulation, it's the flexible, it's the flexible sole of the shoe. Um, and through the snow, I wasn't feeling anything like they, they, they stay warm long as you got like a nice pair of socks on you don't have to keep a thick pair of socks on that's just me but even if i did have like maybe some ankle socks on they still were warm they're really reasonable especially right now i just went on their site and they're on there for right now um half the price they're one usually 155 i caught them on sale at lauren taylor's uh months ago but right now they're on sale again i'll put the link below to the surreal the surreal website so you guys can go and check them out but they're really reasonable right now. I want to say, I think about $80. I'm just probably guessing. And if I'm wrong, I'm going to cut this part out. So keep it rolling. But when it comes to style, you can style these boots with anything. Um, my tapered slim joggers, they look good. They look good with jeans on. You got some corduroys on. You got some dress pants on. They look good throughout. Um, I have the brown tan colored myself. But if you look online, they have an all black pair. They have an olive pair. Um, I think they even got a khaki pair. They got a few pairs online. So if you don't like that color, you can go with different colorways. But I really enjoyed this boot. I'm telling you, to me, it's killing the Timberland. Like outside of, outside of, outside of style, what else can a Timberland boot give you? Like I promise you, can't nobody go in the comments and tell me why Timberlands are so great. Like what's great about a Timberland? Like outside of style. That's it. Like you can't tell me your Timberlands are comfortable. I've been wearing Timberlands for years. They're... Timberlands are not comfortable. They're just stylish boots. Um, this Sorrel, on the other hand, is stylish, it's comfortable, and it gets the job done. I didn't mind shoveling snow. I didn't mind being in the snow, and it was fine. I didn't have to look down like, oh, oh, man, the snow and the salt is going to mess up my shoe because it it, it, it won't. It, I mean, you, it just comes right off. You can come home, hit it with a disinfectant wipe, and you're good. So with Timberlands, you can't do all that. Like, it... You're going to have to have some suede cleaner to clean them up. The salt is going to tear up the suede on the Timberlands. So it's, it's, it's an easy competition for me. Maybe you guys can recommend some more uh, Timberland boots that you can say are more comfortable. And maybe I'll give them a shot, try them out. And then, you know, we'll do another video. But that's what I want to say to here today, guys. These Sorrel Cheyenne duck boots are amazing. They're amazeballs. 
<laughs> so thank you for tuning in, man. Hey, I'm back. So we ain't gonna have no more breaks. We got the new laptop, got the new recording material. We on. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Man, I appreciate you guys, man. Everybody that's been texting me, everybody that's been emailing me, you know, my clients that's been pitching in, giving me ideas on what I can add to the channel. I appreciate everyone, man. Love, man. It's your boy Randomly Fly signing out.